just provide us an update on where we are with Highway 132. Um, I think it was deadline day that the article in the Tribune Herald appeared um, where we found that uh, folks working on highway restoration have encountered some pretty hot temperatures, um, making work to lay down, the, I think the base layer of as asphalt um, difficult or just impossible at this time. So director, if you could just provide us with an update um, I know that you and I have had other communications around reaching out to federal highways to see if they would be open to providing our county with an extension because I know that we're working right up against that October 5th deadline um, in order to get the 100% reimbursement from federal highways. <coughs> Regarding Highway 132, um, we uh, completed uh, the fine grading of the upper section and uh, started installing the asphalt concrete uh, base course um, in that section today. Um, we are completing uh, or will be finishing up the fine grading of the lower section. And <clears throat> yeah, uh, the um, temperatures at the lower section is a lot higher, being that that was the later section that we opened up. And uh, we also encountered more um, dense rock there, which is associated with the higher temperatures as well. Uh, that slowed down the process, um, being that the temperature, uh, we had a lot of equipment breakdown, uh, and um, it wouldn't be conducive to install the asphalt concrete base course at this time, being the temperature is elevated and the asphalt would, it would melt, actually. Um, so we're proceeding with the, the upper section pavement. We have, we have asked um, an extension from the Federal Highway um, program uh, to complete the bottom section um, given the higher temperature that is preventing us from completing it. Uh, we sent in that request maybe two or three weeks ago, but we have not received any response from them uh, whether uh, in favor uh, of our request. Although we have spoken to some of the staff level members and, and you know, they're, they're uh, take on it was that it was a reasonable exception to to make for us. When you submit these updates to federal highways, are you submitting directly to the federal government or is there a process where we communicate through state Hawaii Department of Transportation? Yes, what does we, that look like? Yeah, we, <coughs> we communicate through our counterparts at the State Department of Transportation. In, in our request, we also ask that we, if we would be allowed to <coughs> Excuse me. Except, except the upper uh, section um, separately from the, the lower section uh, in our in that same request, being that we would be able to finish the upper section um, uh, sooner than the lower section, and we, you know, so we're waiting to hear from them if they would consider allowing us to accept and uh, utilize the sections um, as we complete them. So in your request, is there a specific time frame that you've put forward to Federal Highways and said, I need a month, I need two weeks? What does that extension look like? Well, we, we just sort of gave an overall, uh, I believe, a three-month extension request. But, you know, we, were, we would proceed with the asphalt installation uh, on the lower section as soon as the temperatures came to acceptable level and complete it as soon as we can. So this was really a proactive step to ensure that we get that 100% reimbursement from Federal Highways? Correct, because we anticipated not being able to meet the October 5th deadline if we uh, wait for the temperatures to reduce. I was on the Federal DOT website. There was a press <coughs> release from February of this year about emergency relief allocations mm -hmm. for all um, disaster-ridden areas across the United States, and it talked about Hawaii getting specifically $8.3 million for Kilauea uh, volcano eruption earthquakes and lava flow. Is that the total cost of Highway 132 restoration or does that amount include restoration of other um, public roadways? That amount includes restoration of other uh, roadways, <coughs> presumably state highways. Basically our portion that they allotted or uh, obligated to us was half the amount uh, about $4.15 million. So half is being designated for 132, but right. what did you say the total project cost of 132 restoration was? Our it's more than that, isn't it? Our estimate was $11.9 million. 
um, and that was utilizing a um, contractor uh, and consultants to design the road, but we designed it in-house as well as we are actually acting as a general contractor and hiring out the um, various labor and equipment requirements. So let me let me make sure I get all this straight. Cost of doing 132 restoration to federal standards, 11.9 million. Yes. Federal Highway said they're gonna give us 100% reimbursement. Yep. Then we're allocated 8.3 and we're only getting half that? Yeah. And they said that's our that's all we're gonna get four point one five million dollars. Although they also <coughs> uh, re reassigned um, um, two point two point three million, I believe, from a uh, another project that that uh, didn't go forward. So total, we have about six point five million dollars to complete this temporary road. But it costs twelve. Uh, no, it's not going to cost twelve because we are we didn't consult the design out and we are uh, we didn't uh, bid it out the traditional bid uh, and to a contractor to do, so we eliminated all that overhead and uh, cost of having a general contractor do it. So we, we're trying to keep track of our cost and sorry I didn't <clears throat> get the updated cost that we were. But it's going to come in close to that six six point five million dollars, if not slightly over. Okay, so you're doing everything that you can to keep costs in control, knowing that we have a significantly smaller pot of money to right. access and pay for this project. Right. Can we relax any of the federal standards, considering that they're only going to be giving us a third or half of what they said? No, they would? we can't. <laughs> Especially if we're going to ask them to... No flexibility with <coughs> the feds, huh? <coughs> Especially if we're going to ask that they participate in the permanent restoration of the highway, which would require an additional six inches of uh, asphalt. I appreciate your staff being willing to provide us with uh, weekly updates on the progress of 132. Um, Director Simeon called me to say that they would be providing weekly reports. So I appreciate you giving us as much information as you can so that we're all aware of um, what's happening on our island. Thank You're you, welcome. Chair. I yield.